looking forward to a nice nighttime forage. Heading down the rocks now, we're going to go straight into the pools and straight to some lobster holes. We've got a good chance of bass tonight as well, so we're going to get to the good spot early and hopefully we can go into a gully and cut them off before they leave the bay. That's the plan. Hopefully it's successful. Check this out, guys. We've just found Spiderville. <laughs> uh, keep a spider. Thank you. Uh, keep a spider. <laughs> nice. Look at that, yeah, lovely big males. We've been here five minutes. We literally just said, hey, oh, You're gonna hit the spiders, we're gonna man. find some spiders today, and then bam. Sure enough, sat there. Can't believe that. We've been here five minutes. <laughs> we're still waiting for the tide to go down yet. Some pull on that tide as well, eh? Yeah, yeah that's gonna go down pretty quick, I think. Yeah, fingers crossed. There's a load more shellfish around. We, we haven't even got to the lobster holes yet. Plenty yeah, we're really high up the beach and there are spider crabs everywhere. Not as much as we thought we were going to see. Oh, we just, <laughs> that was so weird. It was like, we're going to find spider crabs. <laughs> Bam, we found two big ones. And we're like, when we get further down, guys, we could see a lot of, lot of crab tonight. We will see. I'm going to put these in my bag. And then uh, later on, we'll just pick between all the biggest ones. Right, bad boy. Lovely spider that one. I might let that one go because it seems a bit smaller. Oh no, it's about the same. Ah, we'll chuck them in the bag. Why not? That is a fantastic start to the night. Two nice big spiders. If we find really giant ones, I do usually let the smaller ones go, but these are not small spiders. Not by any means. You beauty. Another little one there. There are spiders everywhere. That's not a bad little spider. It's not a keeper though. As I said guys, we are really high up the beach at the moment. We're not even, even close to the good spots. And we're seeing this much shellfish in already. Oh, I see a lobster tail. Yeah? Yep. I see a little spider crab down there as so. well. Look at that. There's 100% of lobster in here. I don't know how big they're. Oh, that is tiny. <laughs> Look at that one. First lobster of the night though. Quite happy with that. Solid little male. You can always tell the male by the swimmerettes here. If they're long and hard like that, it's a male. Also the, uh, the tail is a lot slimmer as well. And bigger claws on the male. But not the size we want. So that one can go back in its hole. I'm gonna go find some bees. Tiny little ballon wrasse there. Find a lot of these this time of year. All the wrasse start coming in, breeding. Lovely little specimen, hopefully. Find some bigger creatures. Two spider crabs mating down there. It's like Nat Geo around here. <laughs> Got a male spider crab on top, female on the bottom. Oi, oi. Crabs are getting bigger. It's not a bad crab, that one. Not a monster, but not bad. I'm going to wait until I get some more this sort of size. And I, I won't bother with the little ones like that. Nice size conger eel just swimming around down here. I thought it was a bass, but <laughs> turns out it was an eel. I felt a thud then. There we go. We got him. Or her. I don't know what it is. Oh, is it going to be a keeper though? That's going to be a keeper, that one, I reckon. Look at that. Hey, hey. First hole in the good spot. I reckon that's an easy keeper. Lobster gauge. Look at that, that lobster, when I can get it, look at that, perfectly in, beautiful lobster that, first hole of the day, and that lobster, perfectly in, you beauty, I'm going to get some bands on it, we're going to go to the next hole, we've got two, what, we've got two spider crabs and a lobster, it's turned out to be a good forage this one, as soon as he lets go, 
<laughs> there we go. Just for safe measures, as you can see, you can open that one and that one. I haven't got that band on properly. This has turned into a nightmare. <laughs> right, last claw. There we go. That's one prime lobster right there. Not a monster, but that one's a perfectly legal lobster. Nice and solid. No eggs. That's what we want. You beauty. Let's get it in the bag. Hopefully, this is a sign of things to come. Because we've, <laughs> we're, me and Brendan are on a roll right now. I've got a carrier bag with me today. Just because spider crabs, I, I had a feeling we could have got a few spider crabs. They will chew up the lobster. So, it's best to keep the lobster separate to the spider crabs. So I'm just going to clip this on my belt and it's going to be my lobster bag for the day. That's a healthy looking little bag right there. One lobster, two spiders. Let's go get some more. <laughs> that right there is a perfect representation of a lobster hole. You can see the mound dug out underneath here. I'm not saying there's something in here, but you can see usually if there's no seaweed along the hole at all and it's all been dug out fresh sand like that, well, Brendan's there picking up crabs. Yeah, like that's always usually the best chance. But that there looks dug out to me. Yeah, there's definitely something in here. That's big. Look at the size of that puppy. Boosh! Yeah, I said it was big, eh? Yeah, you must have came out from the corner. Oh, That's a beauty. That is, oh, what a forage, <laughs> mate. That's a beast. That is absolutely beauty. Corner. Look at that. Second lobster down, that's an absolute tank. As soon as I put the hook in, I could feel something fighting the hook. And I said to Brendan, this is big. And I've been fighting it in there for a while, and it's just it's popped out the corner, corner here. Brendan's seen it. Look at that. Lovely big male lobster. Not as big as the last one I got here. I had an absolute brute last time. But that there is a prime male lobster. Ready for the eating, baby. Let's get some bands on it. Go find some more. Hee hee. What a forage. It's a two man job, this one. <laughs> it's a beast. I don't want to get the fingers caught with that one. Nah, no way. Good job I brought the bigger bands with me. These are the 12 mil, I think. The 10 mil, they're a nightmare to try and get on lobsters like this. What a forage, eh? That's awesome. We said we could do really well tonight. Because it's not ormering season anymore. There's not many foragers that come out like this and find lobsters, so we get the benefits by finding monsters. <laughs> Hopefully in the next few holes we get loads. Let's get him in the bag. That's two lobsters down. That's our big salmon there. Yeah, it's solid, eh? Yeah. That's proper solid, that thing. That's two lovely lobsters. Two lovely spiders. That is a serious forage right there. We've still got time yet. We've, we're not even at the bass spot. <laughs> and we are back on it. Hopefully things continue. It's been a great forage, there's been crabs everywhere. Not as many as we thought there would be, admittedly. Yeah, we thought we were going to get loads, but... Yeah. Maybe it's just because it's still early. But hopefully, as we work down here, start finding a few extra fish. Straight away. Got it. First bass of the night, guys. That's about a three pounder right there. I'm just gonna hold on to him for a minute because uh, now there's a bit of commotion around. The bass are gonna spook a bit. But I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna give that to a friend of mine down the road. Nice. That's a good sized bass, that. Happy days. Oh, I see. Oh, you ain't gonna believe it. You ain't gonna believe it. Is there another one? No, he's just down here and he broke through my net. Is that? I've just seen a giant spider crab as well. I think I was filming, but look at that. The bass broke through my net. <laughs> I said to Brendan at the start of this trip that the, uh, the net was getting a bit old. And there you go. 
ripped a hole through fair play i can't argue with that it deserved its freedom this has been one hell of a forage tonight for bass spider crab lobsters big lobsters as well can't beat that that looks like a good crab well, that's not a bad one do you want that one brendan what's that do you want that one? I've got another one here as well, it's not bad. Yeah? Right, yeah. Do you want me to hold on to this one for you? Yeah, if you want, yes. Yeah, Alright, mate, sweet. I think I've got enough now. Thanks, yeah. Sorry. Right. Hey, that's a sandwich, eh? Yeah, sound. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Nice job. Two spiders each. My net's pretty useless now. <laughs> a few of them definitely make a sandwich. Oh, that's not bad. That's right. Right. Oh, that's sell, mate. It's another one, eh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, it's another one down there as well. Oh, yeah, look. That one's good. Deep enough. Oh, that one's bigger. Oh, that one's not a bad one, eh? Yeah, one clawer, but... <laughs> Finding the spiders, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seafood heaven round here, guys. There's another one there as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right They're together. Everywhere. Lovely to see. You can't beat spider season. Missing a couple of legs, that one. Thought I'd be generous and put him in the nice deep pool. He won't dry out then. Look at the that's mess that. of spider crabs yeah. in, <laughs> in Brendan's bag. That one's not bad on the top one, though. Mate, that's a nice one, yeah. That's a sandwich, right, huh? Happy days, mate. You'll get just more than a sandwich there, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> Happy days, mate. Oh, not a bad brown crab, that eh? Yeah, I'm not sure, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a nice one. That's the gauge there, look. Definitely legal. Yeah. Yeah. Keep a size brown crab. Do you want him? Uh, ah, I'm right. Yeah, I'll leave him as well. That's a beauty, though, eh? Yeah, it's nice. No point being greedy just because it's a keeper. It's like going through a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> We are literally up to our waist in water at the moment. <laughs> we're trying to find some big spider crabs, but we're not proven very successful, apart from the five that we've got. <laughs> we're looking for those real big ones though. The ones we've got are lovely keepers, but spider crabs grow massive. And look at the size of that. We were literally walking back, and there you go. Oh, that's a spider. That's the ones we were looking for. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a fine spider crab. I think it's feisty as well. <laughs> you want to that one. Look at the size of the shell on that thing. Happy days. It's another one to add to the bag. Happy days. We've both got a feed tonight. A serious feed. That there, that's that, about Beautiful. three pounder. Oh, reckon, eh? Big shell, isn't it? Yeah, look how far I can get his claws back, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get it in the foraging bag. What a monster. This has turned out to be an epic forage. We've got loads of spider crabs, we've got lobsters. We had a bass for about yeah. three minutes. <laughs> oh, so enjoyable. On a night like this, we've got no wind at the moment. The tide isn't massive either, and we've caught really well. Look at this for a forage, guys. And we're just going through them because I don't, I don't want this much seafood. I have no need to keep this much. Giving you guys a show. This has been an awesome forage. We've got big lobsters, big crabs. There's a giant. <laughs> He's still in there. I forgot about him as well. There's been so much life around tonight. It's unreal. Yeah, that's a real one, that. So there we go, guys. That's my forage of tonight. See the size of that spider crab? That is a beauty. I'm going to munch on that one. Uh, I'm going to give Brendan a lobster as well. 
to share the love as they say nice one so we got three spider crabs each and a lobster each awesome that's been a cracking knife that's beautiful i think what i'm going to do is throw the smaller spider crab away do you want him oh uh, probably swap him with the other one I yeah think. yeah take, take the smallest the ones one. away yeah right. but i'll have those two big ones nice big lobster that's perfect Sound. what a forage and it's been nice as well eh? the weather, oh right? it's been crazy look, look at the size of that even the lobsters, eh? Beauty, yeah. That's a lucky spider crab right there. You can see. Lovely sized spider crabs. But we've got bigger. Just clean my crab up, ready for when I get home. I don't recommend doing this unless you're going to eat them very quickly. I'll be home in 15 minutes. But, um, because bacteria builds up in crabs very quickly, so they're best cooked straight away from being alive. So I'll be home in no time, so it's not going to bother me. So I thought I'd mention it. It's a good way of cleaning crabs. Just knock the head off, take the guts out, and it saves the mess at home. Or you can cook them on the beach that way. We're back at the car now, guys. If you want to check out Brendan's channel, I'll leave the link in the description. See I Fish in Guernsey. Does loads of bass fishing. Yeah, I'll be on him again soon. And he also does a bit of foraging for some spider crabs. So I'll see you in the kitchen for a nice old cook up. And thanks very much for coming yeah. along bud no worries anytime that man. was a crack and forage mate fun, that. yeah that was a lot of life felt yeah it's good and we lost the basil we are back in the kitchen guys and we've got our lovely big lobster there i've picked some crab as well we've got literally a bowl full delicious so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have garlic lobster i'm going to save a claw for smash and i'm going to sprinkle it with crab straight on top we've got a few ingredients as well we've got some garlic pepper some paprika and a nice big lemon and can't forget the Guernsey butter, baby. So I'm going to get the lobster all prepped. Well, that's a solid lobster right there. Loads of Guernsey butter. Just enough to smother all of that tail meat. Just like so, some garlic pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit of smoked paprika in it today. A little bit more. So I'll put the butter on first, and these will lay over the lobster tail and the crab meat, and this will just soak through as it's cooking. There we go, got our butter all melted here. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to get some of that lovely butter straight in the tail, just like that. Oh yeah, it's going to taste amazing. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some crab on top. Just like so. Big chunks of crab. This is going to be delicious. And all we got to do, guys, has to be done. Some butter on top of the crab. This is rich man's lobster right here. This is no good for a scrubber like me, but I'm going to make it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. In all the excitement, I forgot the lemon. And all I'm going to do is put a piece of lemon, just like so. And what that will do is just cook in the oven and all those lemon juices are just going to drip straight through the lobster. A little experiment, but I can bet you that tastes good. If only they had smell of vision Oh, that smells good. You can smell the crab, that's for sure. Oh yeah, let's sit down and enjoy this bad boy. Get all that lemon juice in there. Oh, look at that. Just falls out. Oh, that's hot as well. Oh, look at that crab meat. A juicy little lobster underneath. Oh, that looks amazing. Dig in. So there you go, guys. One beautiful lobster dish. And a big old mound of fresh spider crab. Mmm. Oh, that's definitely a lot of lemon on there. Look at the size of that meat. If I put that in my mouth now, I'm going to be scolded, so I'm going to leave that a minute. 
What an interesting trip though. That's got to be one of the most productive forages I've had in a while. There were spider crabs everywhere. They weren't as dense as I thought they were going to be. I thought we were going to find bigger ones and more of them. But the ones we did find, happy days. We had about what three each I think it was and a lobster each. You can't go wrong with that on a, on a forage. I don't even care that the bass went missing. I can't believe it ripped my net. That net was well overdue a, uh, a renewal, that's for sure. Oh, look at that lobster. Oh. So juicy. And you've got all that paprika in there, the butter. Mm. I think I'm going to leave the video there, guys. I think the food pretty much speaks for itself. You don't need me to tell you it's good. Oh, yeah. Just try it out yourself if you ever get the opportunity. Or even try it out with other seafood, crab, some um, sort of clams or mussels, garlic, butter, all the way. Stay tuned for the next episode. If you want any merch, the link's in the description. I'm looking forward to finding more lobsters because I'm hungry. <laughs> it's nice fishing, baby. Woo!